Ofsted is outdated. It has little regard for the people that it inspects. Last year, Ofsted cost the taxpayer £159 million. But did you know, Ofsted still cannot answer how inspection improves educational outcomes. Ofsted still cannot answer if inspection has an impact on teacher retention. Ofsted still cannot answer why inspection favours schools not working in a disadvantaged context. Our schools need accountability, but not reductionist ones word statements. We parents, teachers, policy makers, we need safe schools and regular inspection, but not left to their own devices for 10 years. Across England, we need our teachers to be supported and developed more than ever, not measured or judged by a single word and then compared against one another. Ofsted's currently operating like it's visiting your local supermarket, picking up all the apples and pears, comparing size, colour and price with no regards to the growing condition, changing circumstances, how the fruit moves from farm to supermarket shelf. There's nothing more dangerous to our teacher recruitment problems than an inspection service with no regards to school funding, COVID or teacher workload. In other sections of inspection, in Wales, in Finland, in Singapore and now the Church of England, they've moved away from this outdated thinking, guided by the available research. Ofsted now lags behind international counterparts. It needs to move with the times and the available research. It's beyond belief that Ofsted fails to acknowledge the unintended consequences on our teaching profession. But there's still time. We eagerly await the announcement of a new HMCI. We know they'll bring fresh ideas to the table. But the day when we hear this news, we may cheer. A new HMCI, perhaps a school leader, one we may revere. In the meantime, Spielman has this small window of opportunity to look carefully at Ofsted reform and seek a wide range of stakeholder views.